Guillaume Boudet, De Transitu Hellenismi Ad Christianismum, Episode 1. Here is the frontispiece for the work we'll be using to discuss Boudet and his writings, the Omnia Opera Gilelmi Boudaii Parisiensis, Conciliarii Regii, Supplicumque Libellorum in Regia Magistri, etc. So the collected works, all of the works of Guillaume Boudet of Paris, Parisiensis, Conciliarii Regii, the royal counselor, that is, advisor to the king, etc. We see this was published in 1557 in Basel. And here are the dates of Boudet, 1467 to 1540. He was the most famous French humanist, and in some ways perhaps the French equivalent of Erasmus. We now begin with the title and the first sentence, De Transitu Hellenismi ad Christianismum liber primus, consideranti mihi saipa numero, Francisque rex potentissime, ariemque mentis intentionem vehementer incumbenti, quod nam dignum operae precium ex usi philologiae atque literarum consuetudine fere possem. As is standard for Latin works, the title is De, concerning or about on the transitu, the shift or the transition. Transitu is masculine, singular, and ablative. It's a fourth declension noun. It is from the verb transeo, transire, to go across, to move from one spot to the next. It's cognate with that verb. So, concerning the shift or the transition, hella nismi, which is neuter, singular, and genitive, on the shift or the transition from Hellenism to Christianismum, and Christianismum is neuter, singular, and accusative as the object of the preposition odd. So the shift from Hellenism to Christianity or to the Christian faith. The first book, Liber Primus. And then we have the word consideranti, this large decorative initial capital C. To me as I was thinking, consideranti mihi, as I was thinking quite often, saipe numero. So consideranti mihi is masculine, singular, and dative, and consideranti is a present active participle from the verb considero, considerare, like so. As I was considering, quite often, Francisque rex potentissime, most powerful King Francis, which of course is masculine, singular, and vocative. This is how you address a potentate or a king. You use a superlative adjective in the vocative case, potentissime. And then we have another dative participle, namely incumbenti, which is parallel to consideranti, and adeamque, and as I was applying or paying close attention, incumbenti vehementer, ad eam intentionem, to that intention or purpose of my mind. And then we're going to get the object of incumbenti, which is the quodnam clause. And as I was paying close attention to the intention of my mind as to quodnam, as to what I could produce, fer de possem, as to what I could produce that was dignum, operai pretium, precium, as to what I could produce that was worthy of the effort, ex usu, according to the use or the custom, philologiae, of philology, and according to the consuetudine, the practice of literature. Now this may be a little bit cramped and difficult to read in order to fit into the first episode. Both the title and the large initial capital will take a closer look at it in the next episode. But I think the syntax and style here is fairly clear. Consideranti mihi and mihi incumbenti. So saipa numero consideranti vehementer incumbenti. As I was thinking and as I was diligently pondering according to my mind's intention, as to what kind of thing, quodnam, that was worth my effort, dignum operae pretium, I could produce or bring forth that was ex usu and a consuetudine, that was worth the effort according to the practice of philology and according to the habit of literature. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.